One, two, test, test, as they say. One, two, test, test. Hello there. If you can't hear us, we're not going to do another take. <laughs> we just thought, um, you know, let's, let's find some, some uh, more subdued light for, for December. Uh, looks awesome in here, but very likely you can't see any of it. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Yannick, and my guest, Kara Shaw. Um, I, will leave, leave, uh, I will leave a link in the description box. Palms and Charms, please, please, please. Click on it, check her out, book her, oh, yes. as they say, <laughs> you know. Um, and now we're looking at the sign of Sagittarius for the month of December 2022. Now, obviously, without being too sweary, that year was a fucking piece of shit for most people. Not everything was, was bad, but on a whole, we hardly ever got a breather that was worse. Yeah. We couldn't sustain the good things, let's put no. it this way. So it was a difficult year, which is partly because it was a six year. So it's 2022, two and two and two is six. And six is ether. And ether is what holds, is the glue that holds everything together. So our job was this year to not be fooled um, by, by people and make sure we hold our integrity together. And I'm not a political person, but I think we didn't quite manage that. <laughs> <laughs> so, put it nicely. Put it nicely. so the energy has, has actually quite, has gone quite bad. So I am not into predictions, despite the fact that we are mediums, because the future is not written. What is written is what is called cornerstone events. My guys are Native Americans. The furthest they go without being uncomfortable is six months. I know there, there are things uh, where you can do one-year readings. I used to do this, remember? For those of you who watched, have been watching for quite some time, I did uh, a whole year thing. Um, but I did it for each star sign, which means I would have to record another 12 videos. And I am too busy, to be fair. No, no, seriously, I mean, it's quite a bit of work, you know? Say, so I'm not doing it. And also, it's just not how, how I sort of like to work. And energy right? speaking as well, I imagine that to be draining. Yeah, it is, very much so. But... 2023 by default is a much higher year because two and two is four and three is seven. Now seven is the highest number of protection. And that is important because the most important numbers when it comes to uh, numerology in combination to astrology are actually seven and nine. Now, if you Google seven and nine, you will actually come across someone called seven of nine. Really beautiful woman from Star Trek Voyager. I'm not talking about her because I have, people have told me this. What do you mean oh, seven of nine? No, no, seven and nine. <laughs> and it has to do with the fact with how, how the moon journeys. So, you know, uh, how many um, times it sort of goes around the orbit. So seven and nine are quite important. Nine is the number of completion. Now, why go on about the ninth number? That's because, Sagittarians, you are the ninth star sign. You are the ninth sign within our zodiac wheel, which means the number nine by default, which is the number of completion, is inside your DNA. You will be a person, whether or not you're patient or not, when things are not finished, when things are not resolved, you will oftentimes suffer. Which also means that you carry trauma inside you as a, as a sign uh, quite a bit when there is no resolution. Right? Um, not sure how much that's going to be in the months of December, uh, my experience is when all of a sudden I go off on a tangent, it probably has a meaning. <laughs> here we go. So um, what we do here, we look at um, different areas, different sections. So we will look at the overall energy for the months of December 2022 for the sign of Sagittarians. And then we will look, we'll go into or look into your emotional core, which are sort of um, your emotions and maybe there's love coming in, maybe there's trauma that needs to be looked at, all these kind of stuff, before we then lastly look at opportunities. Now opportunities for the most part are about what sustains you financially. And the funny thing is, in December, by default, nobody hires. <laughs> Not many people hire. So, so there are also other ways of making sure you sustain yourself. We'll have to wait and see what the guides are actually saying. Um, this is one of the things that I like the most about these recordings. I have no idea what we're saying, only no, we only work here. Yes, and then ultimately people ask me um, about my own sign, you know, Pisces. Because I have, I have no idea, I have to watch it. Um, uh, no, seriously, <laughs> I, I, cannot, I cannot remember. I, I, can, remember I simply cannot about. remember. So um, with no further ado, 
Um, let's have a look at the overall energy for the month of December 2022 for the sign of Sagittarian. Okay, is this my, my cue? That's your. My uh, cue. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. So probably went and all this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So um, I don't know if you saw me like shuffling there, but yeah, the first card that I pulled was um, go for it. So I don't know what I'm getting is maybe that there was something in a pipeline that you've kind of like been putting off a little bit maybe, but this is the time for you to kind of like put those plans into action. You know, everything's on your side. 2023, as Thomas said, is like a good year for protection, so you'll be protected going forward in anything that you wanted to do. But we've kind of like got the good green flag here. Uh, what you've got planned in your head is the sort of time to put it on paper and to say what gets written gets done sort of thing. Um, I also got family and release and surrender. So yeah, unfortunately, we're way too far away now to show the cards. I know, yeah. It's, it's all my fault. I was literally <laughs> playing with lights earlier. Yeah, it's okay. Because last time we recorded, we recorded, oh, in, we recorded in, but we also recorded in daylight. Yes. And what happened was, you guys, uh, I'm not sure we actually do a surf, uh, the surfer reading because apparently we recorded Sagittarius and um, when I copied it over to the computer, um, it didn't play. So, fingers crossed, if you see that video, uh, uh, all of a sudden the universe likes you again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right? But the point is, um, I was just playing with slides and I thought like, you know, let's just do yeah, stuff. No, and no, it no, no, just would, would be totally pointless to get you all closer and then all that is done for naught. Exactly. <laughs> right? Like, so, um, it is what it is. <laughs> yes, oh, it's fine, there is. But yeah, the second two cards, sorry, is family and re release and surrender. So I'm getting maybe there's kind of like a bit of an issue with a particular family member here that's going on, maybe there's something that's been built up throughout the year, there's something maybe that's not necessarily I'm getting, that's been done out of spite or on purpose, but something that's probably said in passing that's kind of like just hanging heavy with you and it's just time for you to kind of like, but they probably didn't mean it the way that they did and just kind of like forgive them in your own mind just to kind of give you that little bit of peace and clarity on the situation and just kind of be able to just to move on and start the new year on a, a high. And if they did mean it, fuck them. Yes. The point is when you, have, when, no, but when you have release and surrender, then, then in my mind it's always, you know, as long as you know where you stand, yes. even if it is painful, at least to know you where know you where are. You because with 2023 coming and this being a seven number, a number of protection, you don't really want anything non-resolved. Exactly. And because Sagittarius is so notorious, probably the wrong word, but you do, as a, as a sign, uh, find it awfully difficult <laughs> when things yeah, are not go, when things are not yeah to let go and, and, yeah, and to just, to not rethink about stuff. Yeah, and it's very right. much just saying kind of like just give give yourself a bit of peace and let it go in your own mind, even if you're not able to verbalize it to them. Absolutely. Right. BB gun comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not shoot. <laughs> not sure what I'm doing with these readings here today. <laughs> <laughs> Love and light. I was going to say, we do not condone violence. Love and light and a BB gun. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you one thing. This actually cracks me up. <laughs> in, um, in one of my future workshops, um, I need the, um, the, the, the symbol of a cube, right? Like a dice. And I picked one up in a shop uh, called Quirky Closet in, in Canuck. That very much thing. It's very beautiful. It's got nothing to do with the reading, but it just comes up here with um, BB gun. I picked it up, I uh, can't remember how much it was, it was 15 quid, and there's a note inside it. And it cracked me up. The note says, peace, love, and pussy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> and, I was, and I left it in there. Not sure why I'm sharing this with you, Sagittarians. It just cracked me up. Um, so I guess I know what's in store for me in 2023. <laughs> absolutely nothing to do with a BB gun. True. <laughs> anyway. We're not re-editing this. Let's no, just see. Back let's back see back where we're we'll, we'll see where we going with this. Um, <laughs> so let's look at your emotional core. <laughs> what are we like? What am I like? <laughs> no, let's look at your emotional core. Maybe there's peace and love in your reading. Yeah, <laughs> just see, I left out the rest. Yeah, Isn't that just well nice. Done. It's quite interesting because we're coming to the end of the year. Now you are the number of completion. You are you are this ninth sign. As such, it is not the most important that you get stuff done by the 31st of December. Time doesn't quite flow the way we have created it with months by months by months. But your hard work, whatever you are trying to let go of emotionally or trying to achieve emotionally, your hard work is paying off. So things are coming together for you. And it's interesting because I have three cards here, three is the number of progression. And 
the one in the middle will be the most important because the other two are charging it. And um, the message here is the answers you need are coming. So that again has to do with the fact that not everything is sort of black and white and will, will be um, solved in one go. But your hard work is paying off, the answers are coming. And now here's the important part. <laughs> The last card, which is the outgoing card, which means which means what is in manifestation, for want of a better word. And you hear this as it resonates with you, because um, the, the, the outgoing card is a new romantic cycle begins. Now, that does not mean that you have to leave the old flame behind, so to speak, and start anew. But this is, a, um, a new this is a, like a new chapter. And sometimes, you know, being, being the sign that wants things to to um, make sense, maybe you have to say something about things that aren't working to get them sorted, which is again number nine, um, for them to start over in, in a much better thing because the new romantic cycle energy here is depicted as being in Libra and Libra is all about balance. So ultimately you're, you're heading towards better times, right? But because a new uh, cycle or romantic cycle is beginning, it makes sense for you, should you be in a long, longer relationship, or should you have been in a longer relationship, um, is to reflect and maybe see if there's something that could be tweaked. Because remember, if, if everything is okay, why would we talk about it? Yes. Right? So, that was um, your, overall, sorry, your, uh, your emotional core. And now lastly, we will look at the uh, opportunities as they come to you in the month of December 2022 for the sign of Sagittarius. <clears throat> okay, Coke, so, um, not really. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, you can't. What I'm doing. Oh, you're, you're, oh, you're trying to open. <laughs> I tried to open the box. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm telling you, there's something off with Sagittarius because I the know. first video didn't work. Now I'm going off on a tension telling you all about peace, love, and the other thing. And, and, <laughs> and now I just can't get my words and, and you out. Can't get your words out. So, um, it's quite, so, quite a bit funny. of a hectic energy going on here for you guys. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, you've got kind of like a bit of a mixture going on here. So I pulled the ocean card, the innocence, and giving and receiving. Giving and receiving truth that usually tends to sway towards a bit of an imbalance going on. So either you're taking too much from people around you and you're not giving enough back or vice versa. You're giving way too much and you're not getting back anything from the people around you. And it's just quite literally just finding that balance for you. Maybe you're overworking and you're not spending enough time with your family or if you're spending too much time with your family and you're not getting out there enough. It's just kind of like highlighting that fact that there is quite a bit of an imbalance going on here for you. Um, in a sense, it's just kind of like your inner child screaming out. They want to have a little bit of fun. It is the month of December and it is kind of like time for you to let your hair down, kind of like not so much um, process everything that's gone on the year throughout the year, sorry, but it's very much just take a breather, you know, it's been a crappy year for quite a lot of people yeah. and it's just that time to kind of like just rejoice in that inner child and let them out and have a bit of fun and um, when the ocean card comes up, a lot of the time I do feel like it's, you need to go on holiday <laughs> if I'm yeah. honest, yeah. everybody always wants to hear that but it's just from, it's what I'm very much getting is it's maybe kind of like putting to play some like plans to travel in the new year or just spend a bit of time by the ocean I feel like it's really resonating with you and like it's maybe because everything's a bit hectic here this might be why it's coming in yeah very hectic because the there's no coincidence can, exactly um you know. the ocean can be really, it's, it's calming it's soothing or maybe you kind of like need that little bit of tranquility in your life at the moment that's probably why our energy is so hectic and we are all over the place but overall it's just like you've got a bit of an imbalance let your hair down and Spend some time by water. Yeah, and remember, if you want to attract opportunities, unless you're in a good place, how could you sustain a new energy that comes to you? If you're not having enough strength, let's just say to start a new job, how long do you reckon it'll gonna last, right? So there's loads of sort of subliminal stuff here, um, which is always the case. Oh, um, I say a lot of it comes down to interpretation, but I think oh, with, like, with how it can um, kind of like resonate with um, opportunities and stuff like that, I do feel like your energy is very much all over the place and these opportunities are there waiting for you, but until you essentially kind of like calm down and see things a little bit more clearly, they're not going to be able to come to you. So, yeah, you just need to chill, guys. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what it is. I mean, you know, 
Um, I always say that to people, we only work here. Okay. And it sounds a bit weird. Um, a client of mine told me just two weeks ago, uh, um, that's a cop out. It's not. It's no, not a cop out. You know, we only work here. I have. I can only give what, what we get. You know. <laughs> exactly. Um, and we uh, sometimes we just talked about it. Um, you know, um, we are both Pisces, and um, we recorded Pisces, and they could not remember what we said. No. Um, even though the message is for us as well, so <laughs> so I would have to rewatch it. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna rewatch it. You know, Christ, it's one, of those, one of those things. In any case, Kyra, thank you so much for being my guest this month. Please, please, please check the description box. Check out her page, Palms and Charms, on Facebook. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please, please do so. It helps getting the channel recognized because it's no fun doing all these videos changing the lights for you and then nobody gives a shit and isn't watching <laughs> right so remember this is a free service we're doing it for you um and it would be nice if you could share right so i always get a weird thing i always get that feeling this um, because um, you obviously don't know that but because we'll be recording such a tale visit it's obviously the last video that we do for december and i'm getting these weird things in my head any last words i, I felt like a bit like that i was yeah. like have you got anything to close or something yeah like, and absolutely I don't know, it, it, like it doesn't it yeah. <laughs> i feel like i need yeah. to say something else. well let's just let's just have a look then because i'm getting yeah. this any last words is sort of how my guys like work yeah. It's not letting you go without a fart, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's also interesting because I think what needs to happen for, for you, such charities, is you need to find that inner strength that tells you that things are actually okay. And the message that I'm getting here is literally that you're very close to achieving your goals. Um, there seems to be frustration in the energy for yeah. Sagittarius. If that makes sense. I just feel like it's um, very chaotic. Yeah, like. because remember, e even though um, you know we are who we are, and we, we, but. Um, we notice this. We sit down, and all of a sudden, we are really weird. Yeah. And it's because we're we're we're, we're, we're in Sagittarian like energy kind of stuff. <laughs> I do not normally talk about peace, love, and the other thing. <laughs> yes. uh, but in, in videos, it just came up here. It was very funny, actually. <laughs> right. So yeah. Um. So have you got anything for the people? Um. That one literally just jumped out. Opportunity to forgive. So I feel like there's something that's very much hanging over you guys and. It's, it's just weighing down on you and you're kind of like, as Thomas says, you, you like things to be completed and because this particular thing's not being completed, it's driving you absolutely insane. So I think that's probably why they're not letting us go just yet because I feel like you just need to kind of like highlight what it is that you feel like it's not been completed. Yeah. And, learning, and learning to let it go is another yes. important thing because sometimes you don't get answers. Sometimes you have to, you, you have to, um, take the apology you never get yes. you never got and just go like you know what yeah I mean, it's kind of like just forgiving them in yeah, your own mind absolutely not yeah. necessarily condone the behavior just yeah, like you absolutely. know what i'm not going to punish myself anymore by taking it by, by carrying it around with me exactly so absolutely yeah opportunity to forgive guys so good luck yeah. yeah so thank you so much for watching um and um all that's left to say is uh merry christmas um happy new year don't forget to come back to the channel in January. We know where you live. A bit of a stupid thing. <laughs> we know where you live. That would be nice, obviously, you know, to support our work. Thank you so much. And um, see you all next month. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> I really <laughs> we are bonkers. Anyway, see you next month.